Well, hello and good morning. It's Saturday the 28th of May 2016. The 7.35 hours, as you can see, grey. It's damp and it's nearly summer. There are strange things happening for the aircraft we have seen. First of all, the gravity station got locked out of Barrack Lane. Issues? Not good. I like the gravity station boys and especially the cheers from the street. And then on Facebook, the Celt Experience, well, I don't know if they're sure what's happening, but they're stopping production and the name might go to someone else and then they are the cheers. So, I think I have to do this this morning. I think I have to. Anyway. So, two things. One, I'm going to try and do the picture in picture again. I've had communications from Cyborg. And two, I know they've got some Celt experience in the fridge. And as they're stopping production, they may have a drink or two. So, let the tasting begin. Four Pure from Bermondsey. Expect on the Bermondsey now. Um, the American Pale Ale. 5% alcohol by volume and the Session IPA, contradiction in terms I know, that's 4.2% APA, APA, APV, ABV, 279 Chicago. Glasses, maybe a little bit oversized. So, number one, four pure from Bermondsey, Session IPA, 4.2% and 42 IBUs. Looks nice, nice big head. Lots of carbonation. Smells really nice and hoppy. Mmm. Sharp, acidic finish. Lovely, hoppy taste. That could grow on me. I'm thinking B. This is number two American Pale from Four Pure. 5% alcohol by volume, 37 IBUs. And highly carbonated, nice head. Coffee aroma, which I like. Slightly acidic finish. Mm. Gentler. B plus and a bit. 3.25 on the untapped scale. Finish goes on and on. Make the most of them because as of yesterday, Friday the 27th of May 2016, Celt Experience from Caffili is stopping production, which is rather sad. I may have overdone it with the poor. A rather large head. Uh, bled in 1075. Alcohol by volume 5.56. American Pale Ale Unfiltered from Caffili. Get them while you can because they're going. <laughs> oh, the head's too big. Wow. It is a B plus plus. They make exceptionally good. Or they made exceptionally good beer. Copy strong. And excellent. They're not a very good reviewer, but I like their sort of stuff. So for the second cult experience, I pour this a little bit more gently. Bridget Fire, 6.2%, smoked rye IPA. 
unfiltered. Warm, 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 warm. You will be missed. As soon as I close, you will be extremely missed. Smells lovely. Mmm. Jesus, mm. mm. this is really murky. Mmm. Smoky. Big plus plus. Um, 2.59, not bad. It's not bad. I wonder what Mr. Mahi, the first note, would play. This is like both by Titanic, 4% alcohol by volume. I can't even remember if I've had it before. But I have a feeling in my tub. Despite the rumor. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm thinking B plus. Yeah. Bridge Street Bridge, completely shut. However, the Harbour Fish Bar is just about these bunch of chips. Baby by nails. Post chips. Could be a takedown. Sounds like Stevie Ray Vaughan. A big share brewery, Tiger Tiger, 4.5%. Mm. That's nice. Thank you.